are you? I'll tell you what, something's up with Facebook. So let me try something just a second. Let me put a little stop to that, you guys. What are you putting a stop to? Uh, sideways on Facebook. That's, a, no. that's a no go. We don't do sideways. That's a no go. No sideways we're on, not, on, we're not on horizontal. The, we're vertical. The here. Facebook. So wait a minute. Well, we want horizontal, right? Not vertical. Which way do we want? Vertical. Focusing here, Matt. Oh, my bad. You guys, welcome. I'm so sorry. I as soon as I started, I was sideways on Facebook, so that which means that they decided to flip something on me. So what's up, Beauty Luscious? Hello, Beauty Luscious. Remember what I used to call her? Yep. Pretty funny. So I'm having to start over for Facebook. Sorry about That's that. Right, we guys. got this. Well, we, we only have uh, uh, two people on. We have Missy and a beauty. Oh, wait a minute. Lisa Dixon says, hey, D. Hey. Hey, Matt. What's up, Lisa? Lisa Dixon's in the house. Sorry about that, guys. Everything just went cattywampus on me on Facebook. And, uh, well, I just don't like cattywampus. I have, I'm cattywampus enough on my own. I don't, don't need that. Karen says hi. Hi, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Um, it's uh, been a gorgeous... Do you know what day it is? At, yeah, it's March 11th. Do you know what day it is? Wednesday. Dion, 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 do you know what day it is? It's Wednesday. Hump day! It's hump day. You know that commercial, The Camel? I don't watch TV, babe. You know oh, that. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know commercials. Um, guys, it's been a beautiful day in Oklahoma, and I had the door open. I actually painted the outside of my studio a gorgeous color from DIY. You have to see this. Um, the exterior of our house is like an off-white, so I put this salty kiss on the door. Now, nobody panic and think, uh, no, I'm telling you, it's good. It's good. Matt was like, oh, I was like, yep, there's four more doors. I'm going to paint this color on the exterior. I'm going for like that Palm Beach look. Don't you know Palm Beach with a little drop of pink and I'm a little navy and white stripe? That's all what I'm going about. for. You guys, we're on part four of this piece, and I really want to get it wrapped up for you today. Night. So, hi Carol, hi Gail. I'm so glad you guys are here. And Abby, go lay down. Um, we are at the point where I want to do a couple of things. I want to add in a little bit of surprise color, and then I really decide. I decided I'm going to add in white wax, and then I also want to add in just a little bit more of gold. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is grab this bottle, which I have poured a little bit, like two tablespoons of blue iris, which is our, um, well, it's this color right here. And it's also in this. So here's what we did. We I, The application is different, but the product is the exact same. Okay, I was thinking fire starter for your front door. Hoo hoo, girl. Are you, are, are you showing anybody on the Facebooks? Am I showing anyone? Yeah. 72 people. What? Yeah. I can't get it to load. I'm gonna get out of here. So, um, same thing. What we did in part two is we actually sprayed blue iris using my old Hobby Lobby bottle. Um, we sprayed it over there and it kind of got in there and the grooves and turned out really, really pretty, but I need it to be popping more. So I actually put it in this little bottle with water, two tablespoons, and we're just going to, we're going to get after it and just kind of have some more Matt, don't panic. Don't freak. I, I don't. Baby. Yes, you do. No, I, I'm about as cool of a customer as it gets. Really? Yeah. So I just, I need it a little bit more, and um, it'll dry pretty quickly, and then we're going to add in some white wax. Now, I'm not going to leave that drip, so don't anybody panic and think, girl's gone and lost her mind. But um, this is DIY paint, and it's just in this bottle, watered down. If it gets too heavy, all we do sand it back but what I really I loved the way I sprayed it on and it kind of settled but it still wasn't quite as like pop pop for me so I needed it to be a little bit more bold I'm gonna roll over here and then I worked on the legs before we got started so if you notice they are all painted now which I think it's coming together but the white wax is what's gonna make it smooth and cohesive it really just pulls the whole piece together, but don't, I'm not leaving all these, these bright drips. I like that word. What? Cohesive. Cohesive? Yeah. 
Okay. That's I didn't good, know I said it. No, it's a good word. I like it. <laughs> They're like out there. They're liking my britches? They're liking your britches. <sighs> Matt bought me those. I bought you those britches. That was actually not this birthday when you bought me workout clothes. That was Christmas when you bought me workout clothes. I'm on to you. I'm on to you, Woods. <laughs> you love it. You okay, so me. I'm going to get the water girl right here, and I'm just going to spray a little bit on that so it kind of gets it going. Now, keep in mind, I just want you to know, it's the exact same product. If you're popping on, it's the exact same product. I'm just putting it on a little bit different application. I loved it sprayed on, but I needed it to be a little bit more in your face. So, you guys, welcome. It's uh, Dion Woods with the Turquoise Iris. This is where I come and hang out and paint for you right now every Wednesdays and Sundays. It seems to be working out for us, doesn't it, Woods? Yeah, yeah. I think everybody seems to like it and enjoy it. They and this it. is Matt, my husband. He's here to help yeah, read questions. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm and here. Um, he's here for the party, always. Uh, all of my workshops that are available and um, that I are current are at the turquoiseiris.com you guys if you go to paint workshops you can actually come in person and see us and paint with us and learn from us and learn a little bit more about diy paint also that is the paint that i'm using today uh, matt do we have any questions just yet uh questions no qu uh wait a minute wait okay. a second i think annette wheeler mcshane has one i'm thinking of doing my dining room walls in diy summer brush or the new orange one what do you think, Misty? All of my trim is dark wood. Fire starter for your walls and your dining. Annette's going crazy. That is that is bold, girl. Well, I think Lolly Lolly, she said she was thinking of fire starter for her front door. But she didn't consult her hubby just yet. She hasn't consulted him yet, so no. he, she might need to do that. Rule of thumb, Lolly Maybe. Lolly, <laughs> don't. Just do it. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what you do. Well, I'm glad to know that, actually. That that helps me out a little bit. I'm, I'm happy to know that. Um, I kind of want to add in now some more Golden Ticket. I do have my white wax, and I'm ready to get started on that. But now that I have a little bit of water on it, um, I added in some more Blue Iris. Blue Iris is that bold cobalt. And I actually applied it from this bottle right here at Watered Down because I wanted it to have our control over it. Before we sprayed it on, covered the whole piece with the blue, turned out really beautiful, but I wanted to have a little bit more control over it. So what I'm gonna do here with all the legs is I'm going to spray because we haven't done the legs yet. I just painted the legs tonight before we got on here. So Matt, I need to lower the camera so yeah. they can see. Uh, Judy Ir Irvin, she would like to know the difference between chalk paint and DIY. So. DIY is a clay based as well as chalk. It's a clay and chalk based. So um, your traditional chalk paints don't have clay in them. Um, a clay based is going to be more your cleaner version. Yes, please down. Your cleaner version and um, kind of more of a more. Good, bad. Yes, that's perfect. Almost more of a greener product. It's more natural. And so it is considered a chalk paint, but it's also a clay-based paint. And it is, from what I understand, on the market, it's the number one clay, like it has more clay than any other paint on the, in the, mar on the market right now for clay-based paints. So um, it's more, and it, the difference is, you know what, I had used four different brands of paint at one time. And I, you know, I, paints were being shipped to me. So I was just trying things out. And um, I fell in love with DIY paint because of the way that it naturally blends and the fact that I, because I do a lot of, you know, I can't paint all in one day, so I have to come back, come back, and I can reactivate it because of the clay in it. So because I can reactivate it, I'm able to come back day after day and still keep that look going, and it offers more of a layered version and a blended look that you would get more with, say, a canvas painting, and it's more of an artistic finish. Uh, because it's, it's not, it's like, it's like, you know, the, the traditional latex, once you put it on, it's there. You put it on, it's there. I mean, you can cover it up, but the, yeah, I can reactivate this and I can continue to blend it the next day. So I think that's probably the best thing. Oh, if you want to try DIY paint, my, uh, Michelle has pinned my link there and you are more than welcome on Facebook to go ahead and order that or uh, check it out. Look at all the color options. This is just Blue Iris. I did, did this to the whole top the other day 
and it's settled in all of these grooves. The, also, the beauty of DIY paint is you can just sand it back just a little bit and pull the colors from underneath out because we layered green and we layered yellow. Um, and so if I ever decide that I want to pull more of that back out, like right here, there's a lot of green, I can always pull that back out and I'm pulling the pink and coral off and some more of that green is coming. So you have total control over how much colors you add back after you've been layering the colors. So we have probably 350 retailers all over the US and in into Canada thank you and um, you can go you can get on our website and find where your nearest retailer is but I love the way this green is coming through over this coral and then there's the pink so I used cherry pink too which is our dark purple but if you're local and you have a retailer near you you can always go into your local retailer and ask them to help you with the colors that that crazy turquoise iris used they'll help you I'll help you. Um, I want to give a shout out to Cindy Brands. Cindy. She says, hi, finally catching you live 3 o'clock a.m. here in Belgium. Oh, my Thank you for goodness. joining. Wow, Thank that's awesome. Thank you for being here from Belgium. I'm so thrilled to meet you. She may have had to take the dog out to go to the restroom. We get that sometimes, right? <laughs> we do. Getting up in early in the morning. We do. This is just watered down my old Hobby Lobby spray bottle, um, watered down blue iris. Earlier before, when we first started, we have poured it on the top part like this. I'm letting all of this dry, and we are going to layer some white wax on it. Right before we started, I finished up the legs because I had not done these two legs back here or those two legs. So I got them up to speed here. And so if you were on last time, you saw me add a bunch of golden ticket, which is what you're seeing, the shimmer right here. The golden ticket is a patina, and I add it to just about every painting I do every piece of furniture and if I'm desperate I'm gonna end up doing my nails for it too thank you Shaz she says hello hashtag more math from the UK What's up, Shaz I gotta not spray this white wall behind don't me don't do Woods. it don't spray that white wall um, I worked hard on that thing I know That's, you, you these walls are probably the first walls and ceiling I might add I painted in probably what yeah, as soon as we moved in, he was like, get back to work, lady. And so he painted this room in like two days. Well, I, did, I didn't want to. It was yeah. not a joke. Yeah, yeah it's not a joke. So like literally we moved in, we hadn't unpacked or anything, and he was in here painting this room so I could get back to work. Awesome. <laughs> Susan uh, Hooper Norton. Hi, Matt Dion. Bought Hi, my paints for new hutch project. Contract. What color? I'm so excited to begin, she says. What colors did you buy? Um, I don't know. She didn't tell me. Well, ask her. You just did. Oh, yeah. What colors did you buy? I'm going to pop over here to this side and get the sides of those legs so it can all be drying. And if you want to try out that golden ticket, there's the link on Facebook. I'm going to pop over here. I also worked on the sides that you guys hadn't seen me paint. So this piece will be just about completely done other than the top. And the reason I work in sections is because the clay-based paint, it's so porous, so it dries pretty quickly. And, um, boy, you can get a lot done, too, because it dries so quickly. But I love to work in sections. Does anybody have any questions about what in the world you're doing? So I'm trying to take this piece from basic to bam. To what? Bam. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to take it from basic to bam. Um, I'm going to set this back up here. And you should coin that phrase, honey. You need to trademark it. Basic to bam? Basic to bam. <laughs> I don't know if anybody wants bam furniture. I, hey, you might, Susan. You might, hi, Kimberly. You might a bunch of friends popping tonight. on here. Thank you for the hearts and the thumbs up. I'm so thrilled that you guys are here. We're on day four of this piece. Um, it kind of looks holographic. Yes, Michelle. Great workout pants they are. I did buy them. Yes. Yeah, he did. These were for the Christmas present, though, not the birthday present. So he got me workout pants both times. Uh, Susan Hooper Norton, blue iris base coat, then golden ticket filled oh. with sea glass. Okay. Like in the design diary recent project. Yes, Matthew, would you mind raising the, the camera back up? Sure. And then I'm going to start in with the white wax. 
I want to play around with some more golden ticket, but I need the legs to dry. So I'm kind of popping around in sections a little bit higher. Thanks, Linda Eubanks. It's looking bam, says Karen Brown. We're good here. We're good here. So I'm going to be in McKinney, Texas in just a few short days. How many days? Eight days? Nine days? Just a few short days. Nine days. Nine days. I'll be there on the 20th hosting a workshop. Did you use washable paint when you painted the room, Matt? I'm sorry? Wait, we wait. can wash the walls. DIY paint. It is. It actually does wash off. Yeah, it's you pretty can wash clever. It off. That's true. Good it's point. pretty clever. But um, I know he went with white, and that's kind of one of the reasons I have these huge drop cloths on the wall is just to protect a little bit because I noticed a few blue spots were reappearing, and I decided to blame all of that on Q because she painted in here a couple of times. So I'm like, oh, those are Q spots where she flew paint everywhere. Hi, Mercedes. I'm so glad you're here. How are you doing, girl? So we have a challenge going on, Matt, in the Creative Connection. You know how I do a monthly challenge in my group? And you have to paint live or record yourself on social media and post it. It has to be at least three minutes. I have to do that? No. That's for the Creative I mean, if you want to enter to win. Oh, I'd be winning. Oh, I'm going to be You don't even hardly get in front of the gonna... camera. You're a big scaredy cat. What are you talking ah. about? I'm an internet sensation. Oh, my goodness. I'm a, like a YouTube... Bzz, bzz, bzz. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So, white wax, guys. This is DIY wax. Um, if it's not soft, don't use it. See how soft it is? It's like butter. That's but kind of like melted butter is the DIY waxes. I've used other waxes. And I have a really hard time. I hope you guys record the event. Mary, we usually do not do that. And I'll tell you why. Oh, the, the people have paid like two or three hundred dollars for tickets. And I just, I, it's important to me that they feel like it's, you know, exclusive. So we will, however, um, return a live on when we draw the winners because we're giving away all the furniture that we're working on. I've got three purses to give away. Kara has a painting to give away. And Debbie has a ton of merchandise that she's going to be giving away. So um, when we give out prizes, woo, camera will be on. Okay, I always also blot my wax. This doesn't look like much, but because it's white and when you put it's going to appear a lot heavier. So I barely put any on my brush. I always have a rag handy that I just blot it on. And then I'm just going to slowly apply it in sections. And if I feel like I get too much or I get it too heavy, I'm just going to pull it back. But this white is going to give it that seamless, gorgeous, soft, buttery finish. Oh, uh, honey, this is a good one. This is okay. this was Jacqueline. Hi, Jacqueline. Byers. Hi. Because I was watching your second video last night, okay. replay, okay. and I giggled a lot about you being so excited about your birthday. It's so like me. I actually have a birth month to six weeks. Starts yes. starts first April and lasts until Mother's Day on the second. Sunday of May. She's in Australia. That must be because you have a big family and that's why you celebrate that's it for awesome. four to six weeks. Matt always said that Dion took the whole month of March because of my mom and my dad and his dad and his mom, like everybody, you get to have March birthdays. So he always says that. He's like, no, Dion gets all the much of month of March. Like she gets the whole thing. So is that why? Is that because you love your birthday or that you have a really big family and you guys just like to celebrate? I love that. Okay, Michelle, I did read it, but the first rule of Man Club is you don't speak of Man Club. All right, uh, Beauty Luscious, she has a question. Can I do the video in Spanish? English is not my first language, and I'm not sure how I'm going to sound, LOL. Absolutely. I'll try it, though, but just in case, I was wondering. That oh, would be awesome. Yeah. No, if you need to do it in Spanish, no. It's, it's about you growing your business. You do it however you want to do it. If you want to enter, and the thing is when um, the prizes are, people get to come on live, the prizes in the Creative Connection, they're getting to come on live with me on the Turquoise Cyrus. Uh, this page right here, they get to come on live. Uh, Susan Hooper Norton. Hi, uh, Susan. What will you do with the top of this piece? Same, exact same. It's, um, it's going to be the exact same thing that I've done here. Layer the colors. Finish with white wax. Love it forever. 
So I'm going to pull some of that back off and it shows the texture from the blue and the pink and then a little golden ticket coming through. And this blue right here is just so pretty the way that it peeks out. You guys, I want you not to be scared of color. And if you're in the business to sell, sometimes it just takes see, people seeing it over and over. Because you know, you know, I always say this, you know when the bells, bell bottoms started coming back out and everybody was like, no. Better yet, when skinny jeans came out, I swore I will never put those skinny jeans on because I'm a, I'm a flared wide leg kind of girl. And thank you for adding my brush. You guys, the affiliate link for my brush, if you want to try this little C right here, the little, the little um, wax brush. Um, I was like, no, no. But I feel like people are catching on to color and it's being unique and making sure that they do not own something that their neighbor owns. Uh, I think that's, that's kind of critical. Now remember, I'm dipping back in. I'm blotting on my towel so I don't over apply. Matt, does that make sense? Skinny yeah, jeans. Think, skinny jeans was like, that's not happening in this honey, house. But honey, you rock the skinny jeans. Thank you. Thank you. I love them now. And now I feel like they're actually flattering as long as they're not like low riders and like totally, you know, muffin top. That's a no-go too. <laughs> the muffin top. Yeah, we don't want the muffin top. No. If it's hard to avoid it. So if you can get the right pair of skinnies, Come hitting at the right high, right part of your waist without them being um, muffin top style jeans, and you are golden and looking fly. We went from don't be afraid of color to muffin top. Yeah. How did we make that transition? That's kind of been my because weird. I had something really good to say about That's... being scared of color. Oh. And now I don't. I don't know where I was going with that. Well, so. don't be I scared just, of color because I, I was trying to say. To say I was trying to say you have to give people time. If you're in the business, you have to give people time. The more you see a look, the more we get used to it. Kind of like mullets. Why are all these boy baseball players coming out with this long curly mullet stuff? Why? It's Justin Bieber. It's catching on though. Like it's, you know, we ca it catches on. Yeah, you got to give know. people time. Um, I guess. I'm, I'm not cool anymore. So. You're really not, I, babe. Oh, thank you. Appreciate you're welcome. It. Um, I want to give a shout out to Mandy. She says hi from Australia. Hi, Mandy Driscoll. Uh, Is it Driscoll? Yeah, Driscoll. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to try to say this. Yumiko Debole. Miko. This is so pretty with the white, you guys. This is so good. Vintage Vibes joining us. Haven't seen her in a while, but she, could, she says she's been in the hospital and haven't washed in forever. Well, Aww. I'm glad you're healthy and out. I'm That's glad awesome. that you're watching and welcome. I hope that you're feeling better. <laughs> Heidi McClure says, my senior baseball player is growing mullet. <laughs> there you go. See? Um, senior baseball player is growing a mullet. See? And it, but you know what? He's probably just as cute as can be. But I just, it, at first it was like, oh, anti-mullet. But now it's like, okay, I can do the mullet. My kids don't have long hair. They don't have the type of hair that has the wave where you can kind of grow it out. Like, they just don't have it. But then boys were getting perms. What's up with perms, boys? And just the dying of the hair. This is quite funny. Well, it just means we're old. It does. It, it just means, shows that we're just, old. We're like not cool anymore, honey. We used to be cool. Do you think so? I know I was. Well, watch out because I was. <laughs> and I still think I am, just like you think you are. That's funny. I love white wax. You like the white wax? Yeah, it gives so much character. You're a, like, you're a pretty big white wax gal. I am. I love this. It's pretty much your go-to, I think. Well, go with that with the golden ticket. And adding in a little blue. Mm. It's a perfect... Heidi McClure says, no, it's not cute. I want to cut it in his sleep. Ah! <laughs> Heidi, you're funny. She's got a great sense of humor. She wants to cut it. Yeah, cutting your senior We've been there. Hair. We want to do that with our youngest right now. No. Yeah, you got parted in the middle. It's, I don't like it. I'm out. I don't like it. Okay, so this is working really nice, and I'm going to move over Kathy to... Kathy Cooper has a question. The area that you're, that you're working on yes. isn't all the way dry. Is that okay? So there are a few areas that are not dry, 
and I'm basically avoiding them. Basically avoiding them. There's two spots right here that I'm going to avoid as well. Um, but I'm just kind of avoiding them because where I'm also going to come back and I'll fill in but afterwards, but since we're live, I'm just kind of doing the best that I can. You make white wax look beautiful. Kathleen Nolan, thank you so much, my friend. Teaspoon. All right, so you see the difference? We have a little bit of a more intense color and then it's all just kind of softened and pulled together. Now, when I take photographs of this, um, let me give you, let me show you the hardware. Oh my goodness. So. Jennifer Thomas, if you don't have white wax, can you add a little of the white DIY paint? To your clear, absolutely. You can add to clear, Jennifer. I do, I've done that with turquoise. I did that with gold just recently where I put gold, the golden ticket in there. Um, who's adding white wax to the shopping list? Do it. So this is the drop with the star here and that, th these are the original and they'll go right back on there. Um, originally I asked Matt, I was like, I kind of want to paint, I kind of want to hand paint a design and he recommended that I did not, um, because of this, just because of the piece probably going in a dining room and such. So, um, I'm not convinced that I won't, but once I get it completely waxed, I'll stand back and kind of decide if I want to add anything more. So here, the yellow that we added, there's a little bit bit of green, a little bit of yellow. I don't know if you guys can see that, but when we sprayed the blue iris over it, it got down in that grain and kind of settled in here. And it's really, really pretty the way that it's put together here and inside of this. Um, so I want to make sure that I get some photographs for you and I'll post them in the comments so you can see them. If you're on YouTube, I'll post it under community. You awake, Matthew Woods? Yes, I we am. We got an early morning, don't we? Yeah, that's okay. We are headed to Frisco for baseball tournament for spring break. Both boys are playing and they're already there. So we we have to get up and head that way after we take Abby and drop her off. It's going to be three days of baseball. Well, it's probably going to be one day of baseball and two days of rain. Yeah, high chance of rain in Frisco, Texas. Bummer. That's okay. Frisco's got a lot of nice restaurants we can go to. And yeah. We'll probably do a live from there. I'll do. My, I'll get my lives over with. And well, done. to be honest with you, I think during Friday Night Live, we're going to be at the ballpark. Like, I don't think we can do Friday Night Live this week because I think, I think the schedule shows the ballpark. Well, I'll do my Friday Night Live. Oh, all right. Well, if you're going to do yours, then I'm going to do mine. Okay. Okay? Sounds good. See how I'm just working in sections, you all? I'm not going to let it get out of control. Uh, Judy Irvin. Hi, Judy. Uh, so when you do the top, will you layer all the colors you used so it matches? Or yes. will it be left wood or solid color? I'm going to layer all the colors again. It's easiest if you lay it on its back. So you get the, it, it's just easier. So when I'm using a little bit of water, it drips and lets gravity take it, its course rather than, um, and it'll lay on its back and then, you know, the paint will sort of drip just a little bit and I'll have more control over it. Um, I could do it from the top, but overall I think it would probably be a little bit easier just to lay it on its back. <laughs> Susan Bray Davis says, OMG, I just got you to come up on my TV and the big picture is awesome. That is a no-go. You should never tell me that I'm on a big TV. <laughs> that makes me so intimidated. Oh, uh, that's fantastic. No, it's not. I think it's neat because, they, you know, they do get to kind of walk up to it and see maybe a little bit more of the colors, right? I guess. Of the, of the blaring, right? The blaring the, that the you, blaring. yes, you created the word I created blaring. the word, hashtag blaring. Mm -hmm. Could you spell that for them, please? So B-L-A-Y-E-R-I-N-G. Blaring. And New word. If I see anybody else using it, just make sure you throw me some props. <laughs> hashtag more mad, blaring. I love this yellow and green that's coming through. Uh, Susan? 
she said I thought you were going to ask a golden ticket. I mean, oh, I did. You did, right? Oh, yeah, I did that last time. We've got golden ticket. He like we've got golden ticket all on there. Yep, I did last time. Yes, girl. We can't do a piece without golden ticket. It's just pointless. Pointless. I pretty much think in almost every piece you have it somewhere. I do, and yeah. I almost have white wax everywhere as well. I mean, it's in a, it's a thing right now. It creates a soft iridescent finish. It's just it's just wonderful. I love it. And there's a bunch of golden ticket over here on this side, so. Thank you, teaspoon. What teaspoon say? She's just giving me some props. She said she loves that word. For for blaring. Did, yeah, yeah. She said I I love that word, Matt. Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Are you point. exaggerating? No, with no, the no, no, no. Big heart, big heart, big heart. Big heart, little heart. Big heart, little heart. Big heart, little heart. Brilliant! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! I totally think you're making that up now. Uh, Judith. Hi everyone, I'm new at this and I love your videos. Your furniture always turns out so beautiful. I have a quick question. After you apply this white wax, do you still seal it with the clear wax also? No. No, I will just use, now often I will use white in a certain area. Let's say I have flowers, I'm trying to soften them, and then I will balance it. But I typically will just have one layer of wax, whether that means white or brown or black or clear, I don't usually duplicate them because there's really not any reason to. The white works just as well as the clear and it's just not necessary. Hi Brianna! I miss you friend. Oh, Vintage Vibes, thank you so much. Okay, I need to go over here on this side yeah. now. Vintage Vibes? Yeah. Vintage Vibes, $21. Girl. Thank you so much. That was so amazing. I'm reading it. It says, Miss you, lovely peeps. So now I'm desperate need for some DIY and painting. I've been out of action for three weeks. Make me something beautiful, Dion. <laughs> you got it, girl. Vintage vibes. My word. That makes me want to cry. I'm like, um, what do we? Yeah, that's, that's it. Honey, I the, do you mind? I need you this side. Thank you so much. What's Vintage Vibes' name? Vintage Vibe. No, Vintage Vibe. What's your name? Vintage. Mrs. Vibes? Miss Vibes. Keep coming. Uh, I can't. What do you mean you can't? Now no. you've got it on the top of my face. Like, sorry guys, I'm really close to you. Okay, this is okay. Okay, we got it. That's crazy. My daughter says schools will be next. Okay. Okay, there's this. And the white rag, where'd it go? There it is. So guys, this is part four of this makeover. So if you've missed part one, two, or three, um, one, two, three, this is four. You can see them all. I nicknamed this one. I named this one. Does anybody want to guess what I named it? You guys threw out beautiful names last week. Does anybody want to guess what I named it? Matt, do you know? Um, the purple. I can't remember. No, no, no. This purple, is not purple. Purple. This is not. Now you just made me mad. <laughs> you asked. This you asked is not purple. Guess. You asked me to guess. But why would you call it purple? I don't know. I just first thing that came to my head. Well, it's annoying. Teaspoon says Lucky Charms. No. <laughs> I do love that though. It's a good one. I do love that teaspoon. Birthday blends. No. No. A lot of you were going more towards the sunset. So let's take it that direction. Birthday Sun. or Oklahoma sunset? That was from Robert Gloria. So it's sunset, but it's not Oklahoma. You've got to pick a different place. It's not Oklahoma. Texas. California. No. You, you don't get to vote anymore. I'm frustrated with you for calling it purple when it's not even purple. Okay. Oklahoma Sunset. Birthday cake. <laughs> Cotton candy. Cotton candy. You know what, Teaspoon? I did a piece last year that was named Cotton Candy, and this was very similar. Paris. Arizona? It's a city, not a state. Phoenix. Scottsdale. Oh. Las Vegas. Are you guessing or are they guessing? I'm, I'm reading off what people are saying. McKinney. Nope. Um, 
Oh, I love white. Paris sunset. Nope. Um, it's something sunset. You guys were closer when you were in the States. California sunset. Nope. I said a city. Uh, L.A. No. Davis. Starts with an S. S. Sacramento. No. Are you guessing? Seaside. No, I'm reading it. No. Sunset Beach. I don't think you're reading I'm them. I'm reading them right now. Sunset Beach, Cal. Cal uh, uh, Sedona. Thank you. Oh, Martha. that's Martha Lennox. Martha Sowles. She it's got Sedona. It. She got I named it, it nice. Sedona Sunset. So it, the playlist on YouTube will be under Sedona Sunset if you missed the other. I videos. had some really good guesses in there, though. Yeah, they did. I, I was showing my geography knowledge off right there. Solano. Bobby Lolly said that. Solano would be a good one. We went there. You didn't, didn't, you didn't go to Solana. I did. Where, that's where Debbie lives. Where did we go? We went to Dana Point. Dana Point. That's right. Gosh darn it. I knew it was, it was something like that. We went to Dana Point last year. Was it last year? Uh, no, why, why, why Sedona is the question. Um, I'll be honest with you. I have no idea. <laughs> It sounds pretty. I thought it sounded good. And I thought they, you know, Josie, Josie and Jerry are building there. And I thought, well, it must be really pretty. People always say something about Sedona being beautiful. So I thought, well, it, we're just going to call this Sedona Sunset. And I'm going to go there one day and stay with Josie and Jerry who own Paint Pixie. Uh, Lori wants to know what you're applying. White wax. DIY. Thank you. Junk shack baby. I'm going to get out of the way and let you take a better look. Uh, Vintage Buzz, Dion, you asked for my name. Oh, it's Joe Brindley. It's Joe Brindley. I know Joe Brindley name. Yes. I know Joe Brindley. Do you? Yes. Okay. Joe Brindley is the same person as Vintage Vibe. Everybody knows Joe Brindley. Of course. Gosh. I was actually surprised you didn't know that. Thank you again for the super chat money. That was so sweet of you. Uh, Lolly Lolly says, love Sedona, beautiful Frank Lloyd Wright church there. Oh, huh, wow. Uh, Junk Shack Baby just now joined. This is gorgeous. Thank you so much. We're just about to a point where we're going to stop, but I wanted to... Oh, uh, here we go. Miss, Missy. Missy. Uh-huh. Received a lot of compliments on her toast today. You, is it Missy Yoder? Uh... Missy Bodacious Debris? Debris? I don't see your name. It's hard for me to look. Thank you. I'm so glad and I appreciate you buying a tote. You know what? We sold out of the totes, Missy. And um, I am in the process of designing new bags for summer. Summer collection coming up. Yeah, the summer collection. Okay, listen. So we have layered four days worth of work on this piece. And we started out with a cowgirl coral, which you see right here, and then we did cherry picked, which is DIY's deep purple. And you know what, guys? We skipped this little section right here with white wax. Mm. Done, done. But I, I still need to work on the legs. Um, and then after we layered that, we sprayed blue on it. And then we came out with, whenever you got Buddy started calling it Lucky Charms, because we brought out yellow. And green. We came in with uh, Liquid Sunshine and Salty Kiss, and everybody turned the channel and said, This girl's nuts. I'm not watching her. But I kept on it. Thank you, Teaspoon. So I'm not quite finished because I know that when I buff it, it kind of takes on a little bit of a shine. Um, I may want to pull back a little bit more of the color, pull the white wax off, and then I'll just kind of be able to control the white wax. I just, I just kind of have to play with it a little bit. But the, the main thing that I like to do to make sure a piece looks custom is to look at every section and make sure that I don't skip over something that needs a little bit of attention or that you can really highlight. Like right here, there's a little bit of green that's coming through where we used the sanding block earlier. And, excuse Abby, she just walked through. Um, there's a bunch of green right here. And those are things that really make a piece look like one of a kind and make it look unique where you can't really tell which color came first, which one I ended up with. Um, so what I need to do is just kind of hit all the legs with the white wax 
Um, but I added golden ticket to these two legs because I did them last time. But these, did she just give me her toy? She's just trying to give me her toy. Um, the two legs back here and those two legs need some golden ticket. So I need to stop. Uh, can I show you the hardware? Yeah, I did. Where did I set it? I was just showing you. Do you see it, baby? I think I set it up here. I will show you. It's a teardrop. It has the star with the drop. And although I used a lot of bold color, I think the way that it's blended and softened with the white wax, it really ends up being a lot more neutral. And it looks really good in homes that have gray, white, blue, yellow. Um, those are just to name a few colors. So that, that will hang right there in the antique bronze. Come here. Come here. Sit. Connie Anderson, hello. It will be the exact same. It's not wood. It's going to look the exact same. And oh, she's shaking now. Are you the best girl? You know, you just sit right in front of the camera. I didn't. She's coming over to make sure that you, you know, you did what you were supposed to do. Yeah. You want to? You want to help, Mama? Are you best girl? Are you the best girl? I think. Oh, shaking again. Okay. I think because the boys aren't here, it's almost like she knows they're out of town already. So yeah, they already went on their baseball trip, so it's almost like she knows, so we are getting all of her loving. Oh my goodness, Dad. Okay, all right, put your paw down. So at that, on that note, I think we better sign off. Um, I'm, not sure I'm not sure Friday Night Live is gonna happen. Um, oh, oh, she's got gold leaf on her bottom. <laughs> she said on a, she said on some gold leaf. So the girl's got a golden bottom right now. Now we got to get that off. Um, you guys, thanks for being awesome. Thanks for the questions. Thanks for hanging out. And if you have any questions about, um, oh, uh, thanks for reading. ADR would love you would love you to go out of your comfort zone and layer piece in all neutrals. Neutrals. <laughs> I think it's a good idea. I mean, it just uh, gets you out of your, your comfort zone. It puts me out of my comfort zone, but I've, here's the problem. It's, I'm totally uninspired by it. Like, I've tried to do just neutrals, faded burnt. Like, it just, it almost gets me into a point where I end up more frustrated and I'm not enjoying it. And that's never, ever, ever, ever what I want to do. And it just doesn't end up being a very positive experience for anybody. Um, so... I'll think about it, um, but it doesn't sound exciting well, to well, me. Well, what happened was you would start out with neutrals, and then it would turn out to be very it's colored. be covered in blue iris. I'm yeah, sorry. And blue. then it would be like, well, what was the point, Dion? So um, anyway, it's one of those things that I've tried before, and it just doesn't work out for anybody. You guys have a great night. Um, we will um, be popping in on here. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. I appreciate you, my friend. You guys have a great night, and I will see you all in a few short days. We'll be back on Sunday, and if this piece is completely finished, we will be starting in either a new piece or we'll be painting on canvas. So thank you. I appreciate you. Do you say goodbye? All right. Good night, guys. See ya. <laughs> Are you best girl?